This match will be to one fall, curfew time limit. In this corner, weighing 248 pounds, from Mexico City, Mexico, Ricky Cortez. In this corner, weighing 207 pounds, from Los Angeles, California, Hank Lane. Your referee, Maury Friedman. Ring announcer Len Sterling has set it up for you. Ricky Cortez from Mexico City, Mexico, and uh, from a land not too far north of the land uh, south of the border from Los Angeles, California, Hank Lane. Now, Ricky Cortez is six feet, 250 pounds, while Hank Lane is six feet, 223 pounds. So Ricky has got the weight advantage. Cortez, barrel chested, big legs, huge shoulders and arms. Hank Lane built along the trimmer lines of the speed merchant. Ricky, very powerful. One time held the Texas heavyweight title. And Ricky is putting the choke on Hank Lane. Korean War veteran, former basketball player, played football while in the Army. And when he can get it, his sleeper hold is really tough. Referee Maury Friedman looking on to see that Ricky Cortez does not use a choking hold, but Ricky is a pretty shrewd cookie in there. And when he can back Hank Lane around away from the view of Maury Friedman, uh, he won't hesitate to choke him. Look at him go to the trunks again. Hank Lane not having too much success in the early going in this match with Mexico City's Ricky Cortez. You know, when they talk about international sports, I think that uh, wrestling is probably as international as any sport. There are very few games played worldwide and very few uh, events participated in under the same rules throughout the world. But for the most part, wrestling is. Boxing, of course, and maybe golf and tennis. That's about it. But a top wrestler from anywhere in the world can come to the United States and farewell. And, of course, the uh, shoe is well fitted upon the other foot also. A good the U.S. wrestler can go into any other country and be a top drawing attraction and contender. Hank Lane getting some of that good California sunshine out of his system as he drops one or two of Mr. Ricky Cortez's anatomy off the canvas. One or two parts of his anatomy, I should have said. Mr. Lane getting in 
his shots, but ran into a brick wall. That time, Ricky Cortez with a big body slam, kneeling on his man. Maury Friedman gives it the count for a two only. And that was not through his choice. He could have gone to 10, I believe. But Ricky Cortez didn't want it. He waited till that three count to end the match. Cortez wanted to get in a little more insult to add to the injury and did it with a second body slam to take the fallen match from Hank Lane of Los Angeles, California. Here's a uh, ring announcer Len Sterling with the official result of the match. <laughs>